karibu ni sana wateja wapendwa when is it is it wenzangu or anyway it's not that i'm so bad in swahili it's just that i don't speak it most of the time so i think kidogo the information laid is a bit <laughs> dusty in my head but <laughs> basically i got a good grade in high school uh, in swahili so msi 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 seme msianze kusema artist jinini lakini kwa ambao ni join ni naitwa mwalimu Anji, mwatisha Anji. Na channel hili laitwa Mentor Generations. Mimi nataka ni empower uh, youth yani wale high school students waweze kupata urahisi katika uh, hili somo la biology. Uh, haswa hili video is for biology paper 3. It's the last part. Yay, we are finishing. If you have not watched part 2, part 3, part 1, I I'm going to put them. They are there actually in the description box below so you can check out so that you have all the information packed in one to give you one strong to make your preparation uh, for your exams stronger. I know right now in schools you're preparing for exams here and there. The schedules are very busy. Uh na pia mnatarajia kwenda nyumbani and then the form falls pia mnatarajia for your national to do your national exams i think it's a busy busy time so this information needs to get out there so that mtumie hii na mpite mtiani sababu mimi hilo ndilo furaha yangu kama mwalimu now today's video going to do drawing skills in biology that's another important area and remember please do you don't have to be an artist to score in this It's not about being an artist. It's just about representing what you see in a proportional manner that you know is able to give out a uh, something meaningful. Okay? So in biology, this skill is really required and it requires training. So so I want you to start practicing after you get this knowledge. Start practicing on how you draw your diagrams. Even as early as when you're in form 1 for the form 1s who are listening to me or watching this video you must make sure you train it takes some time to master okay not such a long time but it needs some training all right what is checked in any biological diagrams in your paper 3 say for example a transverse section of a fruit a berry for example uh kwa mfano machungwa ama lemon pale a transverse section and then you're asked to draw what is tested is such aspects as proportionality this one get scoops a lot of marks there is also uh, accuracy did it represent what is expected of the specimen that you are drawing there is labels you must label and remember the rules of labeling it must always be on the right hand side and no lines should cross each other do not use arrows in your labels and lastly the aspect of magnification this one is silent it you some sometimes the question may not even ask you to write the magnification of the diagram but it's a skill that is uh expected from you as early as in form 1 so even if you're not asked for it ensure you're always calculating the magnifications of your drawings on writing them down calculating and writing besides the diagram in a case where uh, a question on drawing is awarded a few marks say three marks proportionality and magnification scoop more marks uh, accuracy and labels take less marks But in a case where it is a 5 marks which is many times the maximum then uh, the, it is spread across so on proportionality this one is about the relative size of the specimen uh, in comparison to the drawing there is also the correct position of structures on proportionality say for example in the transverse section of, a, of an orange for example umechora diagram vizuri umechora umeweka drawing vizuri alafu wewe sasa unataka kusema kwamba the seeds in your diagram 
in your drawing unapata the seeds iko uko kwa perika uko towards the periphery of the seed of the fruit sorry that one does not reflect functionality it's not giving the correct position of structure so ensure that uh to me at a bit of uh, nini what is it called usually me i always advise my students that when you're in the lab just behave like a small kid just do things as if you're a layman but of course be smart use the knowledge and the concepts you have gathered all through on accuracy there is always a drawing mark d1 this one is marked d1 or one mark for drawing if and only if listen very carefully is a smooth outline or a continuous outline most of the biological diagrams are smooth not perfect circles never never use a pair of canvas to draw your diagrams for the circular ones you must just use a free hand but it needs to be smooth and continuous line don't use broken lines do not outline do, do not draw lines on top of others other lines it makes your work untidy use free hand drawing don't use a pair of compass i already said that shading is not allowed in biology shading is not allowed in your drawings in biology paper 3 then the correct view of the section say for example you are told to cut a transverse section you cut a longitudinal section you lose out on accuracy given as d1 the cross section sometimes maybe it's a fruit if it transverse section cut between the two scars the scars on the top the one on the style and the scars the scar below the one on uh, what is called the the, the remains of uh, the point of attachment uh, that the ovary has down towards the sepals and, 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 and the the fruit stalk for example views are important in biology for example the dorsal is the back view huko ni dorsal there is also the front view which is the ventral huko ni ventral kumbele eh ventral there is lateral view which is the side view this way this side pia kuna anterior view which is the top view top then there is posterior view probably below the shoe second last labeling the label must touch the structure the label line must touch the structure do not use arrows do not cross the lines that must not cross each other i mentioned that before then there must be correct spelling of the label lastly on magnification the formula for linear magnification is dl over al dl ni drawing length alafu al ni actual length units is a must lazima uweke units pale kwa calculation take note it's important listen to this you must put the units if you use the millimeters <coughs> sorry about that if you use millimeters you must make sure you put it in the formula in your calculations if you used centimeters let it be there in both dimensions actual and the, the actual length and the growing length and then do your calculations what are your centimeter cancel na centimeter pale kwa formula vizuri so maybe your drawing length was uh, 10 cm and then your actual length was 5 cm let them cancel out nicely now what what will be your magnification itakuwa 2 see but magnification is written as times what times 2 if you fail to write the units my friends you're going you're not going to score on your magnification These are very important tips. These are very important techniques that you must employ. There is no two way about this. Lazima tu to me easy. And I'm, I will also make sure I keep an eye on how the rules are going so that I keep on updating you going along. So even if you're in form 1, you follow this channel. You're going to benefit a lot by the time you're getting to your KCSE exam. You're going to be this sharp sharp student. A material, you need direct. So I want to assure you that this is very useful. Please subscribe if you haven't. and please look out for the rest of the videos there's so much to learn in there there's so much for you i promise to deliver thank you so much for now